Black Horizons is underwritten in part by Slippery Rock University, providing opportunity, diversity, and understanding to students from 40 states and 65 countries of the world. Slippery Rock University. And by the members of WQED. I'm Chris Moore. This special presentation of Black Horizons features many of the African Americans in Pittsburgh who are part of a new breed of actor who call themselves performance poets. Performance poetry incorporates every aspect of the arts to make poetry come alive. Today you'll see acting, music, poetry, and other mediums woven into a tapestry that these artists call performance poetry. And Pittsburgh's own Yoruba Batanga. Francine is the author of two books of performance poetry. Twice now I've made references to the last poets. Well, our next group comes directly out of that mold. In fact, they are known as the last poets of the 90s. Endangered Species is a four-member Afrocentric and politically conscious performance arts group. They engage in a dialogue of poetry, opera, and jazz to dismantle racist and stereotypic thinking about people of African descent. Here is Endangered Species in a poetic, jazzy collage entitled, A Portion of the Pyramid. I'm a black poet. I sling consciousness, not crap. In my anthology, you will find ideology. And with my assistance, you will learn resistance to create a new black existence. I am a black poet. I see beauty through black eyes, despite America's stealthful disguise. Change is my mission. The action, your decision. Each word, my weapon. Each stanza, my spear. Dedicated to destroy all of white fear. We, we are black poets. The only politics relevant to a black man are the politics of revolution. Why pour lots of joint? Oh, While yeah. riding in the car, check this out. Some old redneck takes a swig <laughs> and passes back the jar. But where were they last night? See, neither one can remember. Young brother, dead, gone for keeps, dead forever. Sounds like murder. <laughs> Sounds like yes. Were they high? Oh, they were high. High. <laughs> Preserve white rights is what Mr. Charlie said. Unless the white race would soon be dead. Kill them all. Lock your doors and grit your teeth. Follow them in stores and call them thieves. Scream a slur from the moving car. <laughs> Nigga! A nig on foot can't run too far. They can run fast, though. <laughs> Hide your daughter. It's getting late. Lynch them quick before they rape. Stand and shout and give a stare. Just another damn legacy of white fear. And I remember that day well. See, I was minding my yeah. own business, carrying spare chains. I would call Shababa, you know what I'm saying? But I'm hungry just the same. Hungry for knowledge, my brother. Hungry Man, for knowledge. Man, I've been very tempted to grab it from the till. Very, very, very hungry, but never enough to kill. Young brother killed dead. His name can't be found. A blood is stained on the pavement. White has scrubbed it off the ground. Now, as the crowd of black and white disperses, <laughs> No man, one. Man, I ain't seen nothing. No one you says much. I ain't seen nothing. Young brother, our brother, the nation's brother, killed dead today, and it left me with a touch. <laughs> I woke up to a dream the other day, uh -huh. a black dream, a white nightmare. Turned on the TV. This is a mercy, message by mercy broadcast system. The revolution had begun. Yes, right on, revolution. Well, I knew it was a revolution what? because Michael Jackson danced the white Tucci in dreadlocks. Hey. The public enemy sang the national uh -huh. anthem. Black dream, black dream. Native Americans and Africans stood side by side surrounding the White House in Nat Turner t-shirts sold by Michael McGee. Elsewhere, a firing squad blindfolds Elwood Cleaver and James Meredith, while a mob lynches Ollie North and David Duke on the steps of the Supreme Court. Black dream, black dream. Worldwide, crackheads. 
Tip your ties. It's revolutionary. Wade suicide misses on police station. Yes. And black angels, black angels for sure is pushing through all the crappy broadheads. <laughs> While in the project, tell me about the project, oh, yeah. brother. Drug dealers learn chemical warfare and only sell in the white suburbs. Hey, hey. Black dream, black dream. Yes. On the reservations, though, Native Americans escape <laughs> and hoist their own flag yeah. in Donald Trump's <laughs> living room. And they kick them the hell out. Hit the road, Jack. And, and don't you come, come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hey, black dream, black dream. But you know what? My no wonder what? white folks kill black dreamers. We need to come together as a black nation first. Man. Oh, yeah, and then an army. Yeah, we need men, women, and, and children, children in the revolution. Yes. They will march on this racist power structure, stomp up to the government, and say, hey, Pilgrim, it's a stick up. <laughs> and we come for what's ours. And they'll say, get out of here, nigga. And I'll say, hey, I'll tell you what. Give us all your racist whites <laughs> and your unconscious African Americans. Right. Put them in a the room, educate, teach. And if they want to learn, if they don't want to learn, brother, what are we going to do? We're going to kill them all and re-educate their kids. Because, <laughs> you know why? We are endangered species. We shall liven up the black culture. We can be deadly as vultures. We prey on world civilization. I have this realization that the world is environmentally whack. So I'm presenting my attack. It shall brighten up your shack. Don't be down with the racist laws, my brother. And that's a fact. Just take a building, dull or tall. Spray it like a nice oh, subway. Yeah. Red, black, and green. Just a little gray, but no oh, yeah. flashing, my no man. Flashing. Cause that ain't the way. Make money, I say. Slow down by night. They scrub it off by day. Okay, Whitey, picture frame. Buy your tickets here to endangered species train. Black power, black power, black power. Black power, black power, over and out. Okay. That's Endangered Species. The group members are award-winning poet Sage Berlin and Eric C. Webb, saxophonist Todd Ledbetter, and opera tenor Robert Pruitt, who was not present. They do have the same sharp tongue as the last poets. They create a distinctly Afrocentric language with jazz's diasporic tones and the improvisation and spirituality of African-American opera. <laughs> 